India has ambitious plans to join the elite club of countries with high-speed rail networks. In 2008, the Indian government announced the ambitious project to build the country's first bullet train line, connecting Mumbai with the state capital of Maharashtra, Ahmedabad. Reducing travel time from over seven hours by the existing trains to just two hours, the 508 kilometers Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail (MHSR) project, commonly known as the Bullet Train Project, is India's first venture into building a world-class high-speed rail corridor. The project was estimated to cost $17 billion. It was to be built with assistance from the Japanese government. While the prospect of slashing travel time was exciting, implementing such an ambitious infrastructure project in India came with its share of challenges. Land acquisition over a large swathe of land spread across multiple states, disruptions during construction, traffic management, and environmental clearances were some of the major hurdles that needed careful planning and execution to overcome. The project also faced initial opposition from political parties and protests from farmers over land acquisition. However, the government was determined to see through this ambitious project and build India's first bullet train. The Japanese government stepped forward to assist in building India's first high-speed rail project. Japan is a global leader in bullet train technology, having built the first high-speed Shinkansen network in 1964. Over decades, they have refined the technology and built an extensive network within Japan. The MEIHSR project utilized proven Japanese Shinkansen technology, including train sets that can achieve up to 320 km per hour speeds on specially designed tracks. Japanese companies and experts were roped in to carry out detailed route surveys, train design, signaling, track layout, etc., to replicate their proven high-speed rail systems and operations in India. This massive transfer of Japanese high-speed rail expertise and technology is enabling India's ambitious leap into the future of high-speed rail transport. The Japanese involvement proved invaluable in taming the challenges of building India's high-speed dream. With decades of bullet train operating experience under their belts, the Japanese experts arrived ready to share hard-earned lessons. They worked closely with Indian engineers, imparting advanced technical know-how with tremendous patience. Local teams were immersed in Shinkansen culture through factory tours and simulator training in Japan. This deep transfer of skills helped troubleshoot complex track layouts wound through India's terrain. The Japanese project managers also taught innovative work practices like Kanban scheduling boards, maximizing efficiency even as schedules slipped. Most importantly, they inspired Indian workers with their relentless, yes we can, spirit. Long work days and weekends were cheerfully endured to achieve ambitious milestones. Through their example and expertise, the Japanese partners helped energize the ambitious Indian team to believe conquering tough hurdles was possible. East and West forged ahead to make India's high-speed dream a reality. By 2019, land acquisition was nearing completion, and track construction work had begun across six states between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. Special teams conducted extensive soil testing along the alignment to determine suitable locations for piers and embankments. Deep soil investigations were done using techniques like borehole drilling. Based on the investigation results, engineering designs were finalized for different track structures required as per the terrain, on dams, bridges, or in tunnels. Precision was the key, as even small deviations in track geometry could reduce speeds. High-powered tamping machines compacted ballast layers to ensure tracks could withstand the high dynamic loads of bullet trains. Trails were laid using specially designed track laying machines that enable very high productivity. Per specifications, periodic quality audits and checks ensured track parameters like alignment, geometry, and finish level were maintained. By early 2023, over 80% of the tracks were targeted to be completed. One of the most challenging aspects of the MAHSR project has been developing track infrastructure in terrain, which includes crossing several rivers. Elaborate bridge structures are required to ensure smooth flowing traffic at permitted high speeds. Some key bridges include a 4.6 km viaduct across the Narmada River and a 1.4 km bridge over the Choriasi River near Surat. Advanced construction methodologies like precast and balanced cantilever techniques are adopted for fast tracking. 
In addition to bridges, tunnels are excavated through the hills between Vapi and Bilamora, where space is a constraint. Tunnel boring machines with cutter heads of 14 to 15 meters in diameter are used to dig underground passageways through hard, rocky terrain. Many new engineering technologies are tried, and parameters are stretched to build these impressive civil structures for the bullet trains within stringent timelines. By 2022 to 23, as track laying nears completion, next comes the critical phase of systems integration and speed trials. The 25 kV AC electric racks will be energized, and overhead line equipment, OHE, commissioning will occur. Intricate signaling and train control systems will be integrated with tracks for automatic train protection. Depots and stabling yards capable of holding the train sets will become operational. The first prototype train sets imported from Japan will be inducted for extensive safety validations and certifications. Speed trials will then systematically be carried out, gradually ramping up velocities to test track, tunnels, bridges, and train performances. Analytical tools will measure track geometry, overhead equipment clearances, and pantograph performance during runs. This will validate infrastructure readiness for the safest possible introduction of commercial services at 320 kilometers per hour. By 2023, if all goes as planned, India will witness its first successful high-speed train ride on the bullet train corridor. Once operational, the MAHSR is expected to redefine intercity mobility in India. According to studies, high-speed train journeys above 200 kilometers per hour are the most energy-efficient mode of transport after flights. The 508 kilometers Mumbai Ahmedabad travel is projected to reduce to just two hours instead of over seven hours by existing trains or road. This will attract a large number of flyers to shift from airplanes. The high-speed trains are also more environmentally friendly with significantly lower carbon emissions. Further, the corridor development is a huge infrastructure project generating large employment and skill development opportunities. Successful implementation of India's first bullet train project will boost the government's ambitious plans to develop a nationwide high-speed rail network, helping reduce the pressures of existing overburdened transport systems. It will catalyze manufacturing, too, of rail coaches, trains, and electrical systems to make India self-reliant in this critical sector. It will, most importantly, put India on the global high-speed rail map opening doors for further technological partnerships and exports. The widespread benefits of the MAHSR project have Indians excitedly looking forward to the early arrival of the bullet trains. As construction progresses steadily, job opportunities have already begun transforming lives. Young men and women are receiving world-class training to operate and maintain the high-speed network long into the future. The infrastructure growth also stimulates diverse local industries, from steel to electronics. Entrepreneurs are conceptualizing sleek stations integrated with urban transit hubs and business zones. Analysts predict the super-fast connectivity between major cities could spawn new tech parks and manufacturing clusters along the corridor. As a showpiece of make in India, the indigenous trains hold potential for exports too. Once operational, the sleek silver machines will captivate passengers with a seamless travel experience. Most of all, the dazzling fast trains herald India's leap into a new era of sustainable mobility, driven by advanced technology. Undertaking India's very first high-speed rail project has been a massive challenge. Still, it will put the country on the path of progress if successful. While land acquisition and other initial roadblocks delayed the project by a few years, the Shinkansen model brings a proven solution. Japan is committed to enabling this technological transfer. Cutting-edge civil engineering coupled with stringent quality and safety practices gives confidence that the infrastructure can support 320 km per hour speeds. With operationalization targeted for 2023, the bullet train promises to script a new chapter in mobility, redefining intercity travel. If implemented well, it can drive economic growth across regions. While budget overruns due to COVID are likely, high-speed rail's many long-term economic and social benefits make it a worthy infrastructure investment. Success here will pave the way for more such corridors to emerge, strengthening India's transportation backbone for the future. Wasn't that a thrilling ride into India's high-speed future? 
Stay tuned for more supersonic updates by clicking subscribe. And make sure to share this video with fellow speed enthusiasts. Together, we'll help India's bullet trains reach top velocity.